Hello everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to show you how did I create my glitches template in Adobe After Effects without using any third party plugins. So what you see right now on the screen is what we are going to be learning today. And uh, before getting started with the actual tutorial video, let me give a quick shout out to two video links that are really, really important. Uh, Connect Dodge tutorial is I think something that you should watch because this video actually gave me the idea for creating my glitches template and uh, making a tutorial on the subject. So I highly recommend you checking it out. And the second one awesome people is my tutorial, Flash's flickering tutorial. Uh, if you guys want to understand how math.sign works and how to combine it with an if else statement, I highly recommend you checking this video out because I take the time to explain what exactly is math.sign, how it works and how to combine it with if else statement. And also you, get, uh, you will get to learn a really cool editing technique. Alright, so with that being said, awesome people, let's get started. Now, I've already created my YouTube uh, composition and I would recommend you guys to keep it small because glitches, at least in my opinion, are something that's supposed to happen really, really quick. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna create a new composition and this is awesome people gonna become our uh, logo holder. So, logo replace here and I'm gonna work with full HD because I don't want to complicate things right now so just keep it full HD uh, take a text tool or like in this case I'm going to work with the text tool you guys can add your logo I'm going to scratch it up a little bit align it in the center and bold italic made it a little bit more fat alright there you go we have a nice logo now you can add in your logo and this is going to work just fine I'm going to close this awesome people and I'm going to bring this down here so in my main composition I have another composition called logo replace here and for now, awesome people, it's just going to sit there. So I'm going to remove the eyeball from the composition. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new shape layer. All right. Open this up. Add rectangle. Add fill. Go over here. Change the color of the fill to white. Open rectangle path. Break this link for size. And change the first value from 100 to 500. So we have this really nice, you know, white box. And what we are going to do, awesome people, is we're going to add um, an expression to the opacity control. So hit the T key, you're going to get opacity. Alt click on the stopwatch to start typing some expressions. So I'm going to type in an, uh, a variable first. So n equals math dot dot sign into time and time into 10, close brackets, and of course add in the semicolon now I'm going to combine this expression with an if else statement so if my condition which is n smaller than 0 see I just forget stuff man um, result 0 should be passed otherwise or else result 100 should be passed so again awesome people if you're not understanding this go watch my flashes flickering tutorial because in that I'm going to explain you how this thing works what I just did how that works and uh, you're going to be awesome Alright, so uh, this is, you know, what we have created. This is basically like a switch on, switch off effect. Also, I'm going to change the name from shape layer 1 to box 1, right? So now, if we were to duplicate this, we get a proper naming scheme. Alright, this is good. Now, the only thing that, that it has to do now is jump around, you know, with the super speed and just basically become flash. Ah, uh, get it? You know, it's flashing. There, nothing. Stupid joke. Anyways, uh, go to the position property, awesome people, and alt click on the stopwatch. Now, some of you guys may be thinking that, okay, if it just has to jump around, we can use something called wiggle, right? Wiggle is a superb expression, we use it all the time. That being true, awesome people, but there is something that you have to do before adding in the wiggle, and this is seed random. And, um, you know, I don't have the time, awesome people, to explain you what is seed random in this video. So if you want to learn how your seed random works and what exactly it does, uh, leave a comment below and with enough comments, I'll be making a tutorial on this topic soon. So anyways, uh, follow along, seed random, open a parentheses, type in index, comma, true. And because of this awesome people, the randomization that we'll be getting is going to be super because we are first of all using seed random and sorry, and after that we are, we are even adding it with an index um, value. So this is going to be superb. Now awesome people, let's add in wiggle, wiggle uh, open a parentheses, 
um, I'm gonna go with three fifteen hundred now awesome people one quick tip if you guys are creating this for a bigger resolution I'm just working with full HD if you're creating this as a 4k file I highly recommend you changing this from 1500 to at least 3000 the only reason I'm keeping this 1500 is because my composition size is somewhere between 1920 and 1080 so that's why it's 1500 but if you're working with 4k increase this to at least 3000 and okay so now if I click it and play it you can see we're gonna get this sort of an effect all right this looks good now the only thing that I would like to add to this is some variations with the scale value you can see how it's kind of saying static the full time like at least from the scale perspective so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna there you go instead of using the scale value or some people I'm gonna animate the size value in the content so open content open rectangle and let's animate this guy so I'm gonna say wiggle 2 comma um, 250 you know because if I was to go 500 it would become really really crazy and you can see awesome people now the flashes and the box is changing size and dancing around really really fast and really really randomly so that is what we are looking for now awesome people all we have to do is we have to uh, duplicate this so D D D D D D D D D D uh, once you have 10 select all of them duplicate them until you have about 50 or so so you can kind of go more and you can go even 100 but I, I would like to stick around with 50 because I don't want my computer lag you know with the tutorial but also with the template awesome people I've kept my glitches down to 50 alright so once this is done let's ramp review and see what we have and you can see awesome people you're really getting that nice glitch computer you know gone wrong sort of an effect and the great thing is awesome people that everything is like animating on its own and the variations are there so you don't have to worry about seeing sort of duplicates in this thing all right now awesome people what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select all my box layers and i'm gonna pre-compose them so right click pre-compose i'm gonna call this rough glitch right open uh, i mean move all attributes remove this check click ok and there you go awesome people we have something really nice so now awesome people I'm going to enable the eyeball for my logo replace here folder and I'm going to use a track mat and I'm going to change it to alpha mat. So only awesome people when there is white visible the logo is going to be shown. So if I preview this you can see we're getting some really nice random motions throughout the logo. Now the one problem that we are getting is that this animation is there throughout the video like we are not getting the stop part right you know after a certain time this is supposed to stop and the logo is supposed to be there on screen. So we'll go to our love glitch uh, composition and create a nice white solid. I'm just going to call it white. Click OK. Make sure it's comp size. And I'm just going to push it to about one second. So again, I want the glitches to be very fast. So for first one second, there are going to be lots of glitches. But after that, it's going to be just pure white. You know. So if I play this now, there you go. So after one second, awesome people, it's just pure white. And we just have our logo visible. Now, this is good. We're getting there, but it's still sort of incomplete because right at the start, you can see that the logo is not moving at all. Now, you can combine this by animating the logo position so it slowly comes into the frame and then it just, you know, boom, there you go. But for the purpose of the glitch effect, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. I'm going to call this Wiggle Control. And I'm going to go to FX and Presets, type in Slider slide the control apply to the adjustment layer lock this layer go to the position property of the logo replace your comp add in a wiggle 5 comma and attach it to the slider control value slider control value and close the um, you know the whole expression by adding in a parentheses or close bracket click somewhere outside and now awesome people read the first frame animate this to and the starting value is supposed to be 1500 come down to one second and make it zero zero now if you were to play this awesome people you're getting this nice logo glitch value now if you ever feel that the animation is a little weird like you, you don't like it well what you can do is you can go to logo rip or uh, like this rough glitch sorry and change a few things around you you know and this is what i like about um about using an expression that we can still keep this thing fully editable so if you think that the cluster is a little too much over here you can manually go in and change everything 
it's not going to give you any sort of uh, like error value so we can bring it like something like this and see there you go now if you want to create the different version like you don't like the black version you want to have like the you know like your logo is supposed to be in black what you can do awesome people is change this to alpha inverted mat now nothing happens <laughs> Uh, but well actually the, the the reason why nothing is happening is because we have the wrong thing on top so disable this make it no track mat and make this alpha inverted mat and there you go so the glitches are gonna be in white and after that whoosh there you go so what I did awesome people is I bought my rough glitch layer below my logo replace here and then I changed it to alpha inverted mat so that is how you create my logo glitch effect in Adobe After Effects. Thank you so much for getting me 100 likes on that template video. I hope you liked this tutorial video and um, I hope you guys understood what I was doing. Now if you still want to learn what is seed random and you, you have any sort of doubts you can come to me on my Facebook. I'll try to help you as much as I can and if you want a seed random tutorial leave a comment in the like in, in the comment box below and uh, you know, with with enough comments, I'll definitely make a tutorial video. So, my name is CJ Style. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you all next time. Take care, subscribe, like my Facebook page, do all of that, and stay awesome.